today is a pretty exciting day because today we're doing the custom exhaust. In case you're new here, this is the 1980 Honda CB650 I've been working on for the past weeks. And we have two choices for the exhaust. Let me show you those. The first thing I want to try is I'm going to take the stock exhaust and I'm going to convert it into a modified exhaust, basically just using the hitters part. Then the way we're going to do that is using this Pochco Pipe Builders Kit that Tucker.com sent me. Um, you can get these for around 254 bucks. Comes with quite a bit of pipe as you can see here. So the idea is to combine this with the stock headers, see what we can do. If that doesn't work, we have a backup option. This right here is a kit by Mac. These are really popular with the CBs. And obviously we just would basically bolt this on. Then we would just make a custom mount over here for the muffler and uh, good to go. Shoot man, it might even be cool to run it without the muffler. Look at that. But I got a feeling that would be way too loud. So I already have the bike loaded up. Ready to take it to the shop. So let's get into the shop and start building. All right, so we are down at the shop. Let me show you what we got going on. Here you got the stock exhaust. And what I'm gonna do is you can see it's a two into two. And we've got two sets of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off right here. Remove this entire section right here, which is the inner pipe. Then I'm gonna cut this pipe off right here. Get rid of this. And we're just gonna run a pipe off this right here. So you've got two coming into one, and I'm making sure I'm cutting this at an angle so the air, you know, has got a little bit of a smoother channel there. So we'll get this cut, mount it on the bike, see how it looks. Don't forget, if you want a chance to win this bike when it's done, go to the Patreon site to sponsor a few videos. It's as little as one dollar video, and you qualify to win the bike along with the speed and strength riding gear. Okay, let's get these pipes mounted up. First thing I did was I took these to the wire wheel, get these cleaned up. These are an insert that go right in here. So the first thing that goes in is this uh, round washer and then these and then the pipe. Have a fun day.
Okay, that's looking pretty cool. I'm really liking that. Little kick out at the end there. 30 degrees, I believe. So what I've done here is I've made this internal spacer. This will stay on this piece here. And uh, I'll just weld it right here and right here so it stays in place. And this will be able to slide on and off because I have a baffle for this and that baffle is going to go from here to here. It's 10 and a half inches long. So I'll be able to slide the baffle in even after I get this exhaust done. And then uh, what we'll do now is we'll just build a bracket, hard mount this to the frame, and we're good to go. All right guys, that's pretty much it for the design of this exhaust. I honestly didn't think I was gonna like it, but I freaking love it. Check it out. I think it looks badass. What we'll do is we'll get these all wrapped in black, so we'll black them out. Uh, obviously I gotta finish welding everything up, locking things down. Um, we still have this joint right here that needs to be fully welded around. Cap off this other piece here where I cut that other pipe off. And, um, you know, this is all in place. I have to weld the back side so those don't come off. We can put the baffle in, run the bike for a while, see how it sounds, see how it runs, take the baffle in and out, and whatever we decide, then we'll just maybe weld the tip on there so we don't have to worry about that thing falling off going down the road. But yeah, man, I think it's freaking cool. And then I just need to do the same thing for the other side, and then uh, we'll come back and show you that when I get it done. Okay, so aside from doing some final welding, the full system's on the bike. Let's check it out. So you guys pretty much already saw this side. Now, right now, the bike is kind of up in the front, just so the system is not laying flat. What's gonna happen is the front end's gonna get lowered, and that'll flatten out the exhaust and the frame. But you saw this here. Looks great. And then we got the other side done now. There it is from the back. See it from the top, and then you just got the same thing on this side. 
I think it's pretty freaking sweet. So let me know what you guys think about the system in the comments below. Unfortunately, we can't hear the system today, which is a huge bummer because that's one of the coolest things about putting a new exhaust on your bike is hearing the new sound. We'll eventually get to that point, but the bike fully needs electrical. It's quite a ways from starting just yet, but I'm really stoked to get the exhaust on there. The bike's looking more like a full machine. I'll show you guys how to wrap the pipes in a future video. Don't forget, if you want a chance to win this bike when it's done, go to the Patreon site, just sponsor a few videos. As little as one dollar video and you qualify to win the bike along with the speed and strength riding gear it's uh like over 100 degrees in the shop today i am a sticky mess i'll see you guys next video